right stuff. Tell me, do you have the right stuff? Do you have the right stuff? The right stuff. The right stuff. Tell me, do you have the right stuff? Do you have the right stuff? The right stuff. The right stuff. I'm Cyrus Webb, president of Conversations Book Club, host of Conversations Live Radio, and I'll be your guide on the journey to find the right stuff. I'm here inside my neighborhood Walmart. I thought it was appropriate to start this journey here. I get a lot of my books here, just like a lot of other individuals. For the past 10 years, I've spent most of my life focusing on the importance of reading. Why? Well, we find that in 2009, with all the advancements that we've made, over 30 million Americans still have trouble reading and writing. That's the number that just won't do. What we want to do is show you those that are making moves in the world of the arts and entertainment pursuing their dreams and showing that they have the right stuff to make it in their particular industry. Mostly, yes, we will focus on writers. But this show is not just about them. It's about anyone who has a dream, anyone that's trying to live that dream. We're going to share with you the tips to do so. One of the individuals that has really been very popular in doing that is New York Times bestselling author John Saul. I had the opportunity to speak with him recently. We talked a little bit about his upcoming book, also about his journey as a writer and what he hopes you get from his story. Take a listen to what he has to say. We'll be right back with you in just a moment. Faces of Fear, I know um, your good friend Whoopi Goldberg, um, she loved the book. You were on The View. I saw you on The View with it. That, when, that, yeah. was, that, that was the fun. That was absolutely, totally coincidental. Really? Tell us I, about it. I had been, uh, I was in New York, and I had made arrangements to go down and see Whoopi that, that morning and watch the broadcast. And it was a Thursday morning, and we arrived, and I had just, they had just uh, finished shipping out Face of Fear. We'd gotten five copies, I think. And I thought, well, I'll just take them down and uh, take a copy for each of the ladies. And walked into Whoopi's dressing room, and the first question she said was, are you going to be able to stay for both shows? And I said, no, we have a lunch with our publisher, so we can only watch the live show. We can't be here for the taping. And she said, oh, that's too bad because the second show is going to be the interesting one. The first one is just all about plastic surgery. And wow. I said, you're kidding. That's what the new book's about. <laughs> and she said, what? Let me see that. So I handed her a copy. She read the fly leaf and vanished instantly. And suddenly there was a great flurry of activity, and uh, she came back in and said, well, we can't actually have you on the show, but we're shuffling things around, so I can at least push the book a little bit and introduce you from the front row of the audience. So be prepared to move fast during commercial breaks. <laughs> and sure enough, it happened. But I was amazed she was able to work it at all. I think they had 12 guests on that day. Wow. And uh, but uh, no, Whoopi's a great friend. And I used to listen to her radio program online, mm -hmm. and you yeah. were on there as well on yes. on her radio broadcast. Yeah, and and I think one of the things, and that's why I mentioned in my in my intro, your books appeal to so many different types of people, so many different groups. You discuss, so you mentioned plastic surgery is a part of the new book, mm -hmm. and you know I think about my favorite, you know, from you know from back when I first started reading you, comes the Blind Fury, mm -hmm. and I think you, you seem to always touch on something that people can relate to. Does that amaze